overflows. Krishnamurti meets Theosophists. Theosoph Theosophical society was a great movement at that time. Annie Besant was the international president of Theosophical society and Charles Webster Lee Beter was her close collaborator who claimed to recognize Krishnamurti's potential for his spiritual greatness when he observed the boy's aura as he was playing on the beach at the seaside edge of the Theosophical Society's estate at Adya. It was in April 1909 that first that Krishnamurti first met Charles Leadbeater, who claimed clairvoyance. Leadbeater has noticed Krishnamurti on the society's beach on the Adya River and was amazed by the most wonderful aura that he had ever seen without a particle of selfishness in him. However, his adjutant Ernest Wood, who at that time helped Krishnamurti with his homework, considered him to be particularly dim-witted. Lead beater was convinced that this boy could become a spiritual teacher and a great orator and the likely vehicle for Lord Mathry in theosophical doctrine and advanced spiritual entity periodically appearing on the earth as a world teacher to guide the evolution of humankind. In her biography of Krishnamurti, Jayakar quotes him speaking of that period in life some 75 years later, the boy had always said, I will do whatever you want. There was an element of servivience and obedience in Krishnamurti. The boy was vague, uncertain and woolly. He did not seem to care what was happening. He was like a vessel with a large hole in it. Whatsoever was put into it went through and nothing remained. <clears throat> Krishnamurti himself described this state of his mind as a young boy, no thought entered his mind. He was watching and listening and nothing else, just an emptiness within. Thoughts with its association never arose. There was no image making. He often attempted to think but no thought would come. Following his discovery by Lead Beater, Krishnaji, as he is popularly called, was nurtured by Theosophical Society in Adya. Lead Beater and a small number of trusted associates undertook the task of educating, protecting, and generally preparing Krishnamurti as the vehicle of expected world teacher. Krishnamurti was often known as, called lovingly as Krishnaji and Nityanand his brother as Nitya. Both were privately tutored a theosophical compound in Madras and later exposed to an opulent life among the segment of European high society 
as they continued their education abroad, both in Europe and England. Despite his history of problems with his schoolwork and concerns about his capabilities and physical condition, the 14-year-old Krishnamurti was able to speak and write competently in English within six months. Luton says that later in life Krishnamurti came to view his discovery as a life-saving event. When he was asked later on in life what he thought would have happened to him if he had not been discovered by Lee Peter. He unhesitatingly replied, I would have died. And that was true. The discovery by Lee Peter was a great event in his life that transformed his life completely. During this time, Krishnamurti had developed a strong bond with Annie Besant and he began to recognize her as a surrogate mother. His father, who has initially assented to Besant's legal guardianship of Krishnamurti, was pushed into the background by the swirl of attention era around his son. So Annie Besant asked for the guardianship of Krishnamurti to which his father had agreed. But later on he realized that his son was getting more attention. In 1912 his father sued Annie Besant to annul the guardianship agreement after a protected legal battle, Annie Besant took the custody of Krishnamurti and Nityanand, where he won, she won the case in Privy Council. After that, she took them with her to England. As a result of this separation from the family and home, Krishnamurti and his brother Nityanand developed close relationship and they became more dependent on each other and in the following years often traveled together. In 1911, Theosophical Society established the Order of the Star of the East, OSE, the Order of the Star of the East. This was established to prepare the world for the expected appearance of the world teacher. Krishnamurti was named as the head of this establishment. Whereas senior theosophists assigned, were assigned various other positions Membership was open to anyone who accepted the doctrine of the coming of the world teacher. Controversies soon erupted both within the Theosophical Society and outside it. In Hindu circle and the Indian press as well, Lee Beater and Annie Besant thought that Lord Mathry, the world teacher, would become incarnate in this age in a manner similar to the way Sri Krishna, the Hindu deity, appeared and Jesus has appeared in the world in earlier eras. After missing a life of 17 years, suddenly Jesus appeared in front of Moses who was baptizing the people in standing in River Jordan. Jesus came straight away in front of Moses and wanted to be baptized.
baptized. When Moses saw, he recognized who Jesus was. So in the same way, Lady Peter recognized the aura of Krishna Murti and the potential to be the world teacher. They thought that Lord Matri was a master residing in Himalayas in a place described by Lead Beater in a metaphorical and symbolic manner. The Lord Matri occupied the office of the Christ or the Bodhisattva in the occult hierarchy of masters. Lead Beater and Anibescent expected that a portion of the consciousness of Lord Matri would occupy an appropriate vehicle to present a teaching that would raise humanity's awareness of unity and lead to a new civilization of higher consciousness. Krishnamurti was likely candidate to become the vehicle for such a manifestation, but it remained for him to be trained and tested before he could actually take on such a role. His early life was very difficult as his mother died when he was only 10 years of age and he was very close to his mother Sanjeevma. Family was large and financial resources were minimal. As a result, there was all kind of hardships and he was subject to constant beating at school by the teachers and at home by the father. This left a scar, indelible scar in Krishnamurti. Krishnamurti and his brother Nitya were understood to have been put on probation. Both were rigorously tested, trained and prepared for his spiritual leadership by a master in occult hierarchy that Krishnamurti calls lovingly as K.H. His name was Kutumi on August 1st, 1909. Then Krishnamurti was 14 years of age. From that time onwards, Krishnamurti was nourished, nurtured, trained and provided all kind of training that was necessary for him to be a great orator, writer, thinker and a philosopher. And he was financially supported by a circle of upper class English and American men and women and was under the scrutiny of large group of theosophists who saw him at public gatherings at times. Thus continued the training of Krishnamurti and Nitya by the Theosophical Society, specifically by Lead Beater and under the gu guard guidance of Anibescent. Enough for now. Mm -hmm.